What's up, y'all? Today we are making cornbread. You might think that's impossible, and it was actually very hard for us to get right. We must have tried it like 10 times at least. I'm a big cornbread guy. Who has the best cornbread? Southern people. Foster Market. No, Southerners. Cornbread is like the easiest word to say in a Southern accent. It's almost hard to say not in a Southern accent. You gonna eat that cornbread there? So the oven's preheating to 350 right now and we're gonna prepare the dry ingredients. And I wanna brief you guys on one of these ingredients we're gonna be using today. Whole baby corn. Now, you know, by the strictest of definitions, probably not the best option for keto, but if you're trying to have delicious cornbread, you're gonna to wanna to pick up some baby corn. And one cup, which there's one and a half cups in here, is three net carbs. So this entire can is four and a half net carbs. The thing with the baby corn though is it doesn't have like as strong of a corn flavor as whole corn does, but it definitely adds like a good crunch and you're tasting a little bit of corn in there. And this is a really good addition to this recipe. But we are gonna start off with dry ingredients. We need two cups of almond flour, one quarter cup coconut flour. It's hard to get around if you only have one of the two flours. You really need both in this recipe to make it good. Honestly, like no substitutions in this recipe pretty much. Like this is, it took us a while to get this right. You probably wanna just stick with this exact recipe. So four tablespoons, quarter cup. Then we're gonna go with three teaspoons or one tablespoon of baking powder. And then a teaspoon of salt. And I would recommend you measure this out. And those are your dry ingredients. Give this a mix. Break up any of the big clumps. Okay, set that aside. Time to move on to the wet ingredients. We're gonna start with a stick of butter. You're gonna melt it. And you don't want the butter to be like broiling, bubbling hot. You want it to be just melted so that it doesn't burn the eggs when you add those or like start cooking the eggs. We're gonna add a quarter cup of sour cream and three eggs. Just incorporate that real quick. Get the eggs in there. So that's the third egg. Lastly, we are gonna add 25 drops of stevia. Now, cornbread sweetness is a real point of contention with a lot of people. You can omit the stevia completely. I like my cornbread lightly sweet, so that's what 25 drops is gonna do for you. If you like super sweet cornbread, maybe increase it a little bit, maybe go 50 drops. We're just gonna go 25 though. Now we're going to add in the dry in two parts. You might wanna to switch to a spatula at this point. Okay, now this is where the magic happens, guys. We're gonna set this aside for a minute. We have our can of baby corn here. If you choose to omit the baby corn, you may wanna add a little bit of liquid just because the baby corn has a little moisture in it and it makes the dough not as crumbly. So if you leave this out, maybe add a little heavy cream, maybe a splash of water, something like that. Drain the baby corn, and we're gonna use about two thirds of this can or one cup worth of baby corn. Give it a rough chop. In my opinion, you want it pretty rough. You got your baby corn, add it to the mixture. Then we're gonna do a cup of cheddar cheese. Fold that in. And we are ready to get this into a pan to go in the oven. We're gonna use this casserole dish. The blog post will have the exact size and everything and just all the directions for the recipe. Check that out. We're gonna spray this with coconut oil spray and then just dump the ingredients in there. Thirty-five to forty minutes. Ours usually goes about forty. Um, you can do a toothpick test with this, and we'll be back in forty minutes when this is done. It has been forty minutes. We're taking it out. Oh yeah, that looks perfect, and it smells nice and corn-like. 
looks good. It feels a little undercooked. That happens with a lot of keto baked goods. You just kind of have to let it set and then it will be pretty well, it'll like harden and be, you know, cooked through. We're gonna let this cool a little bit, then we're gonna slice and dice and eat. Okay guys, the cornbread is done. Man, this is good stuff too. We just made this yesterday when we were testing it out and it's really good. I'm gonna try it again though. Okay, so let's get this out. It is a little crumbly, but cornbread is usually crumbly anyway. It's also really nice and moist. Check that out guys, this is legit. And I hate, I don't like trash talking other food bloggers and stuff, but in our pursuit of making a good cornbread, we tried like every cornbread recipe there was just to kind of get an idea. The things people say are cornbread, low bar for what constitutes cornbread. Let's dig into this thing. You can see the nice chunks of corn, real chunky. So good, it's just magical. An order of magnitude better than any other low carb cornbread. And the recipes that take so long to get right like this usually turn out to be the best ones. And you like know all the trials and tribulations along the way. This is perfect. And it's lightly sweet, 25 drops of stevia makes it lightly sweet. This is it right here, no substitutions.